We all know the best way to start your day is with a hearty breakfast, but eating brunch on April 12th will also give back to hungry Edmontonians. I'm your host, Danny Giesbrecht. This is Go Edmonton, and we are on location at Original Joe's with Chef Josh Ferry making Eggs Benedict. Stay tuned to learn all about their big fundraiser coming up. But first, do you know how to defend yourself in an emergency? Here's Sean TV's Alexa McLean with your first story. Thanks for that, Alexa. Josh, what do we have for ingredients for a holiday sauce? We have clarified butter, white wine, apple cider vinegar, some lemon juice, cayenne pepper, and egg yolks. And after the break, we show you how to make hollandaise sauce like a pro. Plus, we have Tamison Ben stopping by from the Edmonton Food Bank. Learn why the hunger situation has increased here in our community. Sausage and bacon, eggs benedict, or banana bread French toast. Whatever you prefer for brunch, remember to mark your calendars because on April 12th, eating brunch will help give back to hungry Edmontonians. All OJs across the country will be raising food and money for local food banks. And coming up on the show, we'll be speaking with Tamas and Benz of the Edmonton Food Bank. Some startling statistics about those suffering from hunger in our own community. Stay tuned for that. But first, Shot TV's Bianca Jade learns how local musicians are inspired by one very creative composer. The best Canadian college football players in the country will be put to the test this week, but as Sean TV's Dave Dawson learns, the road to the CFL is a narrow path. Thanks for that, Dave. We are now here with Tamison Benz from the Edmonton Food Bank, salivating over some brunch here on the side. Uh, Tamison, what looks good to you? Do you know what? Everything does. I'm just regretting that I actually <laughs> had breakfast already. You look at this, it's presentation. Mm -hmm. It smells delicious. I wish you had smell-o-vision. Uh, smell-o-vision, like that. <laughs> yes, that's what we need right now because this is definitely well worth it. Definitely worth waking up early morning on Saturday and Sunday to enjoy brunch, that's for sure. Well, before we get to, to the brunch fundraiser, let's talk about the statistics in our own community right here. How many people are using the food bank and its related services at this time? Well, right now we're being conserved as saying over 15,000 people, but realistically, it's been 16,500 approximately per month. In September of 2014, we actually started seeing numbers of clients going up, mm -hmm. and it was shocking us. We didn't know how to react, and we didn't realize what was happening until, of course, the economy, they started announcing layoffs and ch changes and everything. So we were that kind of community barometer. We were seeing the increase. We didn't have words for it at the time. But I know that what we can do at Edmonton's Food Bank is feed people, and that's what we do best mm -hmm. and so it's because of the community that we're able to continue those operations and continue providing food not only to individuals and families but to of course many agencies churches and food depots Salvation Army Hope Mission Bissell Street Boyle Street uh, boys and girls big sisters big brothers there are so many great worthy organizations out there and if we're able to help them with their food uh, purchases and their food budget every year they're able to do great work in the community so when people support Edmonton's food bank they're helping so many other uh, organizations and people. Uh, off camera you had mentioned to me that um, you, you're you always dealing with people coming through the doors who have a story to tell and since September with a lot of the economic downturn and people moving down from Fort McMurray looking for work in Edmonton, uh, you hear a lot of reactions from kids. What are some of the things that uh, children have said when they come to the food bank? Well, definitely we've had a couple of situations. It was surprising in one week that we had one little boy, when he got his food hamper, uh, jump up for joy and say, look, Daddy, we're rich. Mm -hmm. And then we had one little girl say, now, now I don't have to be hungry anymore. So when you hear children where they're just, all they can think about is, their empty stomach or the lack of food, you know that we have to make sure that they ha get that sustenance and they get those resources in their body for fuel so that they can continue to learn and grow. Because we know firsthand that when people are fed, we are able to, they're become contributing members of society. So it's really good for all of us to support each other. Besides buying brunch on April 12th, how can people support the food bank here in the community? Definitely watch for our events, take a look at our website, follow us on Twitter, become a monthly donor, $10 a month, $20 a month on your credit card, simple, easy, you get the tax receipts and Edmonton's Food Bank is able to continue to provide services. Your website for more information. www.edmontonsfoodbank.com. Tamison, as always, thanks so much for your time. Thanks. Stay tuned. More after this. 
Welcome back. If you're just tuning in now, we are making breakfast at Original Joe's. Chef Josh Ferry showing us how to make eggs Benny. This is the finished product. And of course, you can have eggs Benny without hollandaise sauce. So we have all the ingredients laid out here. But the real reason we're making breakfast today is on April 12th, they are doing a fundraiser for the Edmonton Food Bank. We're going to learn all about it, how eating brunch can help give back to hungry Edmontonians. Stay tuned for that. But first, it's a return to the stage for one local actor. Here's Sean TV's Jen McDonald's. What do you do with your old, outdated gold and diamond jewelry? Well, according to Sean TV's Tim Dancy, selling it could be your worst option. We explore this topic in today's episode of Jewelry Talk. And this is hollandaise sauce made from scratch. Josh, quickly, you had thrown everything into the food processor. You make it look so easy. Is there anything else to it? Not necessarily. Uh, it comes with a lot of practice, and there's a lot of batches that get messed up, but you just have to keep doing your thing. And it, uh, if you follow the recipe, then it turns out really well. All, all right. Well, I'll let you finish constructing our eggs, Benny, behind me. We are now joined by Allison Stone with Original Joe's. Um, April 12th is the day for the big event. How is it all going down? Uh, well, on April 12th, you can come into any one of our Original Joe's locations. We have 63 uh, locations. Um, if you bring in a donation for the food bank, uh, you'll get 50% off your brunch item that day. Okay, and what kind of donations are you hoping to see people bringing through the doors? Uh, we're hoping for non-perishable, um, as many things as we can give back that uh, the food bank could hold on to for longer periods of time and hopefully uh, help over a longer period of time rather than uh, things that are going to expire right away. Why did you decide to choose the Edmonton Food Bank for your charity fundraiser? Um, I think that uh, there's a, definitely a need, um, as Tamison mentioned, uh, with the downturn in the oil and things have changed and sometimes there's not a lot of discussion about that and I think there needs to be some recognition or some awareness brought towards that. Okay. Um, the Edmonton Food Bank does, like you mentioned, help so many people here in our community. Original Joe's often chooses local charities to get behind. What has the partnership been like with the food bank so far? The food bank is amazing. Um, they do nothing but great things for the communities that they're involved in and uh, we couldn't think of a better, uh, I guess, charitable organization to partner with. So. Allison, thanks so much for your time. Josh, we're going to check back in with you quickly. How are things going over here? We're ready to go. Ready to go? Okay, so I have everything. Follow me. I've got everything ready to go. Uh, we've got English muffins that have been quickly toasted, and I've got some thinly slate shaved ham that has been just heated through quickly, and we're going to move this over to the plate. What do you think, Josh, of this partnership with the Edmonton Food Bank? I think it matches really well with our core purpose in taking care of people and going above and beyond to feeding the hungry people of this city who are really less fortunate. And it's nice that they have a place, an organization like the Food Bank, where they can go and get some help if they need to. Excellent. Okay, I'll let you wrap that up. Before we go, here is your on-the-go calendar. And now the finishing touches our from scratch hollandaise sauce on our eggs benedict. Don't forget April 12th, bring a non-perishable food item down to any OJ's and get half off brunch. Plus you get the satisfaction of knowing that you're helping to feed hungry Edmontonians. Edmontonsfoodbank.com for more information. I've been your host, Dana Giesbrecht. We'll see you next time. Ta-da.